Hello, everybody. I'm going for it. She's got a chainsaw. Sandy boat shoes. <laughs> Hello, new week, same old jazz. So you might remember from last week's vlog that we were having some tech issues and over the weekend, the issues have persisted. So today we have an appointment with Apple and the Genius Bar to sort out our Mac so that we can continue making these videos. So that's what we're doing today. That is where we're off. But I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. So let's head over to the mirror. Right, this is a new coat. You might recognize this from the haul that you may have watched on Sunday. And this was the checkered coat from Stradivarius. I decided to keep this one. I like it, I like the check. I like that it's got the little bit of red running through it. Um, and yeah, it's just quite, quite mansy, quite masculine, and I just like it. Underneath, I have the Zara polo neck, which I'm always wearing, my usual necklace. These are my Levi's 501 boyfriend jeans. And I was gonna wear my furry loafers today, but I remember what happened the last time I wore those when we had to go to Lakeside, and it wasn't very good, so people took the piss out of me. So I'm just gonna stick with these ones with the no fur. But my feet are no way near as warm as they would be with the furry ones. And I'm not normally one to care what people think, but we were stood in Argos and there was some dude sitting on the chair where you wait for your order and he was going, Ugh! and I was just like, I cannot deal with this. What an idiot. And then Gucci bag, always got in the, uh, always doing the Gooch on Gooch. I don't care what Gooch means, I'm gonna use it anyway. Hello everybody. Look at Bumblebee, he just doesn't understand. He doesn't understand anything. Yeah, come on then. No, we've got to go and see the people at Apple. Yeah, so we don't need to get excited. Oh, stretch. No, we're not getting excited. Oh, <laughs> so many little people. Hi, B. Oh, thank you so much, that was so nice. Anybody else, Bella? Do you want to come and give me a kiss? Oh, hello, Bobo. Okay, so we're at Lakeside a little bit early. So, we're gonna go have a look in here. Sophology. Because we've decided that we need new sofas, haven't we? That is that the royal we? I don't know. How about this one? This one looks like a bit jazzy, like something you might wear. <laughs> it looks exactly like your pair of jeans. Yes. Is that... What is that for? Secret pouch. Secret pouch for what? Secret stuff. Oh my. Look at that, living like a king. Can you get up? <laughs> He's found another one. No, it doesn't rock. Not having it. I don't think we need one that rocks. Oh, you said this coming here and have a look. I didn't know she has rocks until now. Now it's on the list. Jesus. Come on, you must like these. I feel like they're... <laughs> I feel like that's just got Simon written all over it and you'd probably go for that colour scheme. Oh, no, he's running off. <laughs> oh, dear. There seems to be a trend emerging here. We seem to keep going for these same... You said you wanted leather. Yeah, but I never said anything about the feet popping out. Oh, look, that's a bit complicated. Phone charger. USB. No way. Feet don't pop out, do they? Oh, it's electric. Electric feet popping out. Yes. Look at him, he's loving it. Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> Living the dream. Is that the one you want? Okay, we've finished at Apple and it was not useful or productive, was it? Didn't we just do it as quick a minute ago? We did, but I've decided to redo it here. Oh. What do I say? What do I have to say? No, it's rubbish. You got my line. You haven't got a line. What was it you told me to say? I didn't tell you to say anything. Okay, so 
it was unsuccessful. I love Apple because I've got all their shit, but they are shit, aren't they? Uh, they just send us round in circles, and it's a problem. Where are we going? IKEA. Oh. oh, we've missed the turning for IKEA. KFC. <laughs> Right, it is Tuesday morning and we are heading out to shoot some outfits for the blog because since starting YouTube I neglected the blog a little bit because I was struggling to manage my time properly. Anyway, I've kind of made a little plan and I'm making a lot more time for the blog because it is my baby and I love it very much and it's got me to where I am. So I don't want to neglect it, don't want to forget it. So lots of blog content coming your way. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm wearing right now. Sorry, I thought that was the postman. I'm like, <gasps> on post watch. So I've got on my new coat, which I bought from H&M last week. You would have seen that in last week's vlog. Uh, and I have my Zara polo neck jumper on. This, turn you guys around again, is a new necklace from Cinco. And Cinco is one of those brands which I tell you guys about, slightly more affordable to the Monica Vinada and Misoma styles. Although I love all three of these brands, they're the only jewelry brands that I really wear. So yes, this is a new necklace from Cinco and it's got like that little spinny thing. On one side it says live and I think the other side it says, I don't know, what does it say? It says express, random. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I have some Levi's jeans on and yes, my furry Gucci loafers have come out of storage to play yeah so that is today's outfit right we are finished shooting so we got a few outfits didn't we yeah. got a few outfits done for the blog and yeah now I'm just gonna head home put all my gear away. <laughs> how bad is that put all my gear away and start the editing process. Oh Jesus, he's got a chainsaw. We've got to go and have a look at this. Come on guys, let's see what daddy's doing. This looks fun. Yeah, that's quite an impressive tool you've got there. Do you want to give it a quick blast? Better behave yourself, eh? <laughs> Hedge trimmer massacre. absolute pleb you have definitely massacred those bushes do you know what you're doing trimming the bush you know alan titchmarsh are you oh bumble what have i told you about these huh they have to go outside in the garden darling do you understand he looks mortified oh my god look at his little face he just wants his conquer look watch if i put it on the floor Oh, it's prickly. Okay, take it then. Straight in the gob. Yep, I'm gonna take this over here and destroy it and make a mess. On the rug, straight away. Right, it's now six o'clock. I have been doing some editing this afternoon. Simon, well, you've seen exactly what he's been doing. And now I am just off out to have some dinner with a friend who I've not seen for ages, so. I'm gonna show you what I've changed into for this evening. So I've got my Chanel slingbacks on because they're very comfy and low heel. And yeah, they just look nice. <laughs> and then these are some new jeans actually. They just arrived today. They're from Jigsaw and they've got this really cool like stripe down the side. It's not made of anything. It's almost just like they've stuck some tape on it and then like acid washed the rest of the jeans, but they're a straight leg and they come down to the exact length that I love. And then also this, I've just picked that up, put it down, pick it up, put it up. Uh, this polar neck jumper, which is a silk mix, which is kind of like in a 
think it's called Winterberry, but it's almost like a rusty colour. This also arrived from Jigsaw today, so I'm loving that. Thank you very much, host Jigsaw. Uh, this little pendant is the same one as I had on earlier, the new one by Cinco. And then this blazer is the mango one, and it's got like the raw hen. And then, of course, Judith. Simon is grounded for hacking the garden to pieces, so he's staying here. Actually, I'm probably going to ask him to drive me to the train station because I just feel lazy. Can you take me to the train station, please? What are you eating? Muffins. What are they? Oh, you bacon bites. Let me have one. Yeah. You've had about ten bags. No, I've not. What are you watching? My tape. <laughs> Your tape. This is what he likes watching on Netflix, the confession tapes. Why can't you walk? Because I've got my Chanel's on and I don't want to ruin them because I've not had them resold yet. Walk in your shoes. No, I can. I just haven't had them resold yet because we no haven't had time. Shoes. I'm going for it. I love bacon bites. It is 22. Come here, Bean. 20 to 11, and I've just got back from dinner with Lizzie. It's very nice. I'm very full. And now I'm just having a catch up. Sorry, it's a bit dark with Bean. And actually, oh, he's got that cartoon on so loud. Simon watches this bloody cartoon called, oh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like people that go into the future or parallel universes or something and it's ridiculous. Rick and Morty, is it? Oh, it's terrible. Right, but anyway, Bean doesn't know it yet, but he's got a big day tomorrow. And it worries me a bit because Beanie's teeth, as we've discussed before, are not the best. And tomorrow he has got some dental surgery booked in which means that he's going to be put under anaesthetic, which scares me and worries me because he has got a heart murmur, so they need to be very, very careful because uh, he's a bit older now. So, yeah, that's what's happening tomorrow. It's a big day. He doesn't know it yet. Do you, Bean? Are you in there? It's a bit dark, isn't it? <sighs> okay, it's Wednesday morning. We've just dropped Bean off at the vets. So as you can see, whoa, bright. In the state of my face, I got upset. <laughs> um, so I will probably only be okay this afternoon. <sighs> Once we know he's okay. Sorry. But Simon is making us some breakfast. I've made the tea. Look at this. I learnt that from Master Chef. Huh? I learnt that from Master Chef. What, the shaking of the bands? <laughs> that approach it. Mm. Oh, he knows how to look after me. Got my fry up, and I've got last night's bake off. Right, I heard back from the vets this morning, um, about half 11ish, and they said he's fine, so I'm happy now. Um, and we can go and pick him up in about 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see him. Just want to give him a big cuddle and see how many teeth he's got left. <laughs> Cause he might be like this. <laughs> and Simon thinks that this is an appropriate outfit to go and pick our son up in. This is not appropriate. Where are you going, Bean? We've put your bed here, darling. That's it, come on out. He's a bit, bit dopey, aren't you? Come on then. Good boy. That's it, careful. You're in? Good boy. Seven teeth you had out today. Seven. And when we picked you up, your little tongue was hanging out, wasn't it? Yeah, you're just very tired, aren't you? Bumble can't contain himself. <laughs> Look at his tail. <laughs> yeah, he's back with his bone up. 
Oh, no, got to do another circuit. <laughs> and here it goes, around. Make sure he goes around the whole of the living room. <laughs> and back. Show, Show it, and then off again. <laughs> There he goes. Poor Bumble just wants to give him a kiss, but it's too much for Bean. <laughs> He's just looking cage. <laughs> Hello! Right, it's now Sunday, and I've been a bit quiet for this week, other than obviously the start of the week, because we've had Bean situation, and we've been looking after him, and then we've just had loads of work to do but we're going oh battery's gonna die i'm gonna have to run back upstairs for a battery battery died yes so we're gonna go take the dogs out for a walk now and then we're gonna go shoot some pictures later and then also get some lunch is it raining oh oh we're undercover we're all right in here Bella, where have you gone, Bubba? Right, so for anyone wondering, I realise we didn't really give you much of an update on Bean over there. But as you can see, he's very well. He uh, woke up the following morning after his dental work and he was bright as a button. A very, very tough day on him, but worth it. And that he's very happy out for his little walk. He has one really, really clean tooth at the front of his mouth and he had the other one taken out because it was so rotten. Poor Beanie. Why have you got your socks pulled up like that? Keep my ankles just warm. So why, <laughs> so why didn't you just wear a pair of like trousers then? Dog walking trousers are in the wash and I've been for the last three weeks. Oh, well, that, well, you know, feel free to do the washing yourself. Here, why don't you show people what I'm wearing? Good job. Dog walking attire. I'm made for the country look. Barber wellies, practical. I feel like I sound like my mum. <laughs> Sandy boat shoes. Barber jacket, knitwear. Check me out. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. There's so many to chase. This is like the happiest he's ever been in life. <laughs> so many prickly things to chase, Bumblebee. Right, I'm all showered and changed after our nice walk with the doggies this morning. Uh, we're gonna head off out for some Sunday lunch. So, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I've got my new jigsaw coat on. This is the first time I'm wearing it. You might recognise this from the haul on Sunday. Very, very nice. And I'm wearing it with this red Kurt Geiger bag. This is called the Kensington shoulder bag. I don't know. I'm sure it's called the Kensington. And it comes with the scarf on it. And then, necklace-wise, done something a little bit different today. So I've put my horn and my Mini Marie on the same chain. Daring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zara Thin Black Knit, the one with the nibbled hem that I always wear. Levi's 501 jeans in a dark wash. Uh, Gian Vita Rossi pumps. And that's it. I think I've covered everything. Let's have a sort of from the back view all the way back here. There we go. Looking very suave today. Right, we've had lunch. We've been out to shoot some photos. And now, I've got all the babies on me. I'm just replying to some comments on today's YouTube video. And Simon has got this on the television. Who is it? Thanks. Yeah, and look. Mm. Show us your hat proper. He's got his hat on with his Ralph Lauren lounge pants and a stripy top. Another fine outfit, if, if you know, I must o -O say. O-O-T-D. Yeah, okay. Do you know what we could tell people about? Uh, Our little trip mm. in October. Oh, it is October. October the 1st. Pinch punch. Oh yeah, Blue Water. Huh? Blue Water. No, we're not going to Blue Water. <laughs> so, we might need to call on your help. Anyone 
any US dwellers because... And Canadian. And Canadian. We're going on a trip later on this month. Should we get a map up to show people where we're going? The plan is we're flying to Montreal and then we also want to go to Boston and Salem. We're going to Salem because it's on the bucket list. But we would like to call on your help for any places like in between. We want to do a circle. Like that. There, so, okay, thank you. So we want to do a circle. So if anyone knows of any places in here that are definitely worth stopping by, then please, please leave us your comments in the comments bit below and we would be very, very grateful. <laughs> you look so stupid. <laughs> yeah, so that's the plan. We're very, very excited. Right, I've just been having a bit of a tidy up and I got sent this earlier on in the week by Bourgeois and it's a box full of goodies. Oh, this is perfect for Simon. Hey, I've got you a new coffee cup. Oh, very fancy. That's for you for when we go out shooting. Do you like that? It's got all your famous catchphrases on it. Has it? Yeah. Blah, blah, ooh, la, la. Oh, you little shit. Right, anyway, back to the good stuff. Uh, so this is a new lipstick, apparently. Rouge Velvet. Ooh, what are those? How did I miss those? Meringues. Yes, and this one looks really good. What's this one called? Oh, crikey, Flaming Rose. Oh, I'm gonna give that a go now. So I'm digging this little like applicator bit. Look how well it hugs the lip, look. Mm. This is shade number two. It's like a really nice rosy pink. What do you think? Ah, so I've just got ready for bed. I'm wearing my jazzy new PJs. I'm gonna stand up and show you guys because they're awesome. So they're bright blue. Hello. Hi. You like my new PJs, don't you? Yes, okay, fabulous. And they've got a gold like star, moon, planet, lightning bolt motif on them. And these PJs are actually supporting a really good cause. They're from Hush. Um, I'm not sure if you're all familiar with Hush, but it's one of my favourite brands. And they have partnered up with a charity called Refuge, which helps victims of domestic violence. So the sale of one set of pyjamas will give a victim of domestic violence somewhere safe to stay for the night. So a safe haven, just with one set of PJs. So awesome PJs for a really, really good cause. So just want to plant that seed with you guys. And that's it for me this week. I'm going to put on my jazzy eye mask and hit the hay. So I will see you guys this Sunday for my new video and then next Wednesday again for next vlog.